I would be remiss if I did not talk about something having to do with Gaza, and it's one that is we talked about last week, and it's just an update and a short update near and dear to my heart. And that's the journalists that are that are being murdered by Israel. So People's Dispatch published the other day, and again, this was on the 27th, and today I saw that the 74th journalist was murdered. This is a graphic photo. That's literally his bulletproof vest soaked in blood of a murdered journalist as they're walking him to his funeral. Oh, by the way, the journalist is right there on the journey. Stretcher. So the world is waiting in cautious anticipation amid the four-day pause, which ended up being six in hostilities in Gaza, giving Palestinians a brief respite from the incessant Israeli airstrikes, which resumed as soon as the ceasefire, quote-unquote, ended, even though it never really ended. Israel did not cease its bombing of the enclave from October 7th when it declared war on Hamas, following the surprise al Aqsa flood operation launched by Palestinian resistance groups to start, um, start of the pause on November 24th. In these nearly seven weeks, over 15,000 Palestinians were killed and over 33,000 have been injured. The number of missing is still around 6,800, many of whom are presumed dead. We're still trapped under the rubble. And half of those children. Amid those genocidal attacks on Palestinians, Palestinian Journalist Syndicate reported that over 63 journalists have been killed. Again, now we're up to 74, and I think that that also may include the Reuters journalist that was murdered in Lebanon, but not just journalists. It's also their families in a lot of cases. <laughs> the CPJ, Committee to, to Protect Journalists, has stated that the last month was the deadliest for attacks on journalists since it started keeping records in 1992. This is repeating from last week, but it needs to continue to be said because nobody seems to be doing anything to stop this from happening. Yep. <clears throat> Many press freedom advocates have argued that the killing of journalists and communicators in Gaza appears to be part of Israel's sinister efforts to prevent the truth about its brutal attacks from reaching the world. I don't think that that's really much of a question at this point. Um, in this context, a group of people's media outlets from across the world issued a statement expressing solidarity with Palestinian journalists and demanding a definitive end to what constitutes a grave violation of press freedom, international law, and fundamental human rights, which we know Israel doesn't give a flying fuck about. Yeah. Fuck you, Bibi. <laughs> fuck you, Knesset. Fuck you, Benjvir. Fuck you, all of them. Stop this Knesset? genocide. 